Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from Jakeman21642. Today I've got a video for you of this very nice 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. This one is finished off in a very nice bronze exterior, which just looks great on the vehicle. It's got a beautiful metallic shine to it. This one as well is pretty much fully loaded and it's a surprising amount of features inside and out for what it is. But outside you can see your body colored mirrors, of course, with your LED turn signal indicators. Body colored door handles on this one as well, and it is equipped with blind spot monitoring. Up top, panoramic roof, you can see your radio antenna right there. Tinted rear privacy glass, of course, and then you do have your fuel cap on the driver's side. Around the rear, rear backup sensors, rear backup camera. See, this one also does have a trailer hitch down below. And you can hear it cutting on. This one does have Hyundai Smart Trunk. If you stand next to the trunk for about five seconds with the key on your person, it will automatically open. Slightly annoying, but pretty cool feature. And obviously, this one is equipped with a power trunk. Coming up to this side, this one is riding on Firestone tires. They are the Fuel Fighters. And they are 235, 65, R17s. So 17-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes. And everything follows through on this side. Your chrome trim around the belt line. As well as up front projector headlights, fog lights down below, and some chrome accenting on the front grille. Go ahead, get inside. This one does include your typical Hyundai key fob. Lock, unlock, press and hold to open the trunk, and press and hold for panic. But as I mentioned, intelligent entry. Just walk up, press right here on the door handle, and it will unlock. Press right here and it will lock. Also, press twice, and it will unlock all four doors. Go ahead, step inside of this one. As you can see, this one does have the gray leather interior, which is in fantastic shape. Full power driver's seat down below, your Santa Fe door sills. And to start, foot on the brake and press right there. Go ahead, close the door and just have the key fob inside the vehicle, and you're all good to go. Inside of the Santa Fe, as you can see, you do have a leather-wrapped steering wheel, nice and light power steering, typical Hyundai. On the wheel itself, your audio system controls, Bluetooth phone controls, and then your cruise control over here. This button, you can go between your different steering modes, comfort, normal, and sport, and then more controls down below for the center display. Up top on the door, it's a rubberized material. You have some padding around here. Padded stitched leather on your armrest, all four of your power windows, front two are automatic, power mirrors, and your power locks. Over here, your heated steering wheel, hill descent control, and traction control on and off, pulls your active eco mode, and blind spot monitoring on and off. Dashboard itself is padded material above here. This is all rubberized, and then you have some padding around here. You can see your headlight controls over here. They are automatic, as well as your fog lights on and off. Nice and simple. Your gauges, tachometer, speedometer, and then the center display, which is controlled from right here, as I mentioned. You can bring up all kinds of different things, your audio system, even navigation, stuff like that on the display. In the middle, two air vents, your CD player up top. This one is equipped with the Dimension audio system from the factory as well, which just sounds fantastic. But all of your controls here, you can bring up your navigation, everything like that. As I said, the audio system. really does pack a punch. More controls around here, your phone, everything else, all simple to use. Below there, dual zone, automatic climate control, zone to the driver, zone to the passenger, fan speed, different modes, and everything else, your defrost right there. Storage down below, two power outlets, and then your auxiliary and USB behind that cover. Heated as well as ventilated seats for the driver and passenger right here. Just push up for heat, and then down for the cool portion. And right here is the shifter for your six-speed automatic drive, manual mode, and then reverse. This one does have a rear backup camera and rear parking sensors, as I mentioned. Two cup holders right here, more storage, and then a padded armrest in the center. Storage inside of there with this removable portion. I believe there is another power outlet. Seats are very comfortable. They're nice, high-quality leather. They've aged very well. You can see you do have kind of a pattern in the middle on the perforated portion for your cooled seats. Up top, you do have all of your interior lighting controls, sunglasses container, and then the controls for the sunshade, as well as your panoramic roof. 
which you can raise and then actually send all the way back. So it's had a wind deflector, of course. Otherwise, though, your handles, auto dimming review mirror, and your visor right there. These are illuminated as well. Just like that, they'll close. See so your handles, and then your microphones for the Bluetooth. I mean, overall, just a great place to be inside. We'll go ahead, step out, unlock everything, and pop the hood. So there's your parking brake right there. Inside the rear seat, everything follows through. You can see your heated seat controls. So you wear sunshades, which is a very nice touch. Even the stitched leather follows through. You can adjust the recline as well as just drop the seat from right there. But stepping in, I'm six foot two. I can comfortably sit behind myself, no problem at all, as you'd expect in a crossover like this. Do have your air vents built into the pillars right there. So your open and close for that. So I mentioned the rear sunshades, which are a very nice touch, and then your heated rear seats. Back seat pockets on each side, right there. And then up top, you can see that beautiful panoramic roof. And in the center, you do have an armrest, two cup holders built into the front of that. And this is all padded leather stitched. Back here, as I showed earlier, this one does have a power trunk. Just press release. And inside, you do have both your carpeted rear mats right there. This one does come with your carpeted trunk mat. And then below all of that, you do have storage, your jack storage, and everything else like that. Up in front of it, looks like you do have some more compartments, which will open separately. More storage underneath of there. Do have power outlets on the sides your subwoofer for the Dimension audio system. Then very nice too, pull right here. It will drop the rear seat down, so that'll give you an idea of space with the seat down versus the seat up. Go ahead and release the seat down here, and then you can just raise it back up and control the recline from right there as well. Otherwise, everything follows through on this store, your dimension speakers, heated rear seats, and the rear sunshades. Up front, you do have a power passenger seat in this one. I believe other than uh, the tech package that gave you adaptive cruise, this one is pretty much fully loaded. Inside of here does include all of your owner's literature, state inspection certificate, everything like that, even all in the original wallet. And up front, daytime running lights are on. We'll go ahead, cut the headlights, as well as the fog lights are already on. And up front, you can see projector headlights, fog lights down below, and under the hood on this one. This one does have Hyundai's 2.4 liter GDI four cylinder. Everything under here is in great shape, running fantastic. And I mean, with this engine as well and front wheel drive, you will get excellent fuel economy with this thing. Go ahead and close that. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Cut it off right here. You can see the seat will move back. Move the key. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you aren't interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.